What's up guys? Got a little video review here for you. Um, this is of the uh, Stropman.com uh, HD compact leather strop. Um, if you guys, really quick, if you guys are not subscribed to jdavis882 on YouTube um, and you call yourself a knife guy, um, you are not a knife guy. <laughs> you have to be subscribed to this guy, um, this guy's channel, um, and support him in whatever ways because um, he probably provides some of the most informative, um, not just reviews, but just um, informative videos. If you want to learn about sharpening, if you want to learn about knife mechanics, and, and all these different things, um, you got to get on this guy's channel. So um, check him out, J Davis A Day Two. Um, I guess while I'm at it, you know, another shout out. Check out Trenton uh, One Eleven um, and his. YouTube channel. He's got some amazing custom knives out there, um, so you can check out his channel. And so he's, you know, definitely um, blossoming in this knife community. Uh, I'm not like, you know, crazy or anything like that, but I'm um, definitely appreciate all you guys' support. And uh, one of the cool things about this knife community really is that you get to hear about new things from other people's channels. And Jay Davis is, is one that I uh, watch religiously uh, every single day. And he puts out, you know, two, one, two, three videos every other day or so. Um, so, and they're not, they're not stupid videos. They're not just rambling. Um, he does talk, you know, a lot, but he's always talking about good stuff. So, uh, that's really, really cool. So, check out his channel. Subscribe to him right now. Um, I don't even care if you stop my channel and, and go subscribe to him because it's worth it if you really want to learn uh, about knives and, and all that kind of stuff. Anyway, uh, this Strop Man is... Um, made by a guy named Robert and uh, he's Robert Barber he is you know uh, I think a wood carver by trade um, but or I don't know if that's just one of his hobbies but he started getting into strops and if you've checked out you know Jay Davis's uh, videos he didn't advertise he was just talking about you know these strops and he introduced this strop um, to the knife community so I went out and bought one and within a couple days it shipped out to me and um, even in the midst of uh, some troubling times that Robert Barber is going through um, he kind of mentioned it on his website um, so you can you know just keep him in his thoughts or your prayers during this transition or whatever um, but you know basically for 20 bucks you know you can pay via PayPal or whatever um, you can get this awesome you know very I mean it seems very simple you know this a little strop, a little piece of wood with leather, um, but you know if you're into sharpening, if you know anything about sharpening, then you know that stropping is one of the most important things about maintaining your edge um, for for your knives. So anyway, twenty bucks, you know he he you know hand carves these little pieces of wood. They're very very light, you know, uh, but they're strong, very sturdy, and then he puts two pretty thick um, pieces of of leather. Um, that apparently are flattened perfectly and leveled uh, on this wood block here. Um, and one side is labeled for coarse and then one's labeled fine. And then he even puts this little uh, lanyard uh, on here, which is, which is cool. You know, just a 550 lanyard cord uh, through this little drilled out hole. Um, he's got his little uh, marking here, uh, RB, for his uh, initials. And he's got this little tribute to his grandpa, according to Jay Davis. You know, that's what this little dot is for. And this lanyard actually comes in, uh, it's helpful either for hanging on your wall, but even putting here, um, you know, as you're kind of just hanging on your head or on your hand, you know, and uh, you kind of just hold it here. And uh, you can just allow it, you know, allow the pressure to kind of sit on your lanyard or on your wrist. And uh, you don't have to kind of hold it so tight and your hand gets tired from gripping and all that kind of stuff. But anyway... You know, you got your course, you know, you can order uh, two of, of four different compounds with your order of this HD compact strop. And uh, J. Davis, he, he suggested getting the white and green, uh, but they do have a black one that is uh, slightly more coarse, or actually significantly coarser than uh, the white uh, stropping compound. And then your white is your second uh, coarsest uh, compound. Then you have the green that does a little cut and a lot of polishing and then you have a red that does pretty much all polishing so you know you just kinda just rub your compound on uh, the leather on each side coarse and fine 
and then basically all you do is you know you just strop you know and you know one of the things that I love about having a manual strop you know I have strops for you know the stropping paddles for my Wicked Edge uh, sharpening system and they work fine you know and the, I guess the cool thing about that is it's, it's always set at a particular angle but um, I mean you have to you know set it up you have to clamp it in at the exact you know angles that you had it at and you do get a consistent um, you know angle for that which is fine but stropping I don't know stropping is, is about you know you're able to kind of just do it you know manually you know with your hand and it's it's less important to keep I think it's a little less important to keep you know an exact angle you know when you're stropping you know when you're using ceramics and diamond stones then of course you have to keep it at the same angle because you're always working towards the you know the tip of the not the tip but the the apex of the edge here but with stropping you know even though these are pretty firm um, you know little slabs of, of leather um, it's still a bit forgiving you know so it kind of works around the edge and all that kind of stuff and and then this little compound uh, will kind of cut slightly into the into the steel but you don't really lose much steel I mean you can see on this cutting compound you know that you do it does you know shave off a little bit of steel but it's I want to say it's negligible again you know I, I'm not positive uh, with these statements but um, yeah you can <laughs> Go ask Jay Davis, he'll tell you. Uh, this guy knows everything. Anyway, um, so, you know, with my uh, TSF Beast here, um, I think I had this sharpened at, I believe, uh, 50 degrees inclusive. Let me check to make sure here. Um, I'm sorry, I had it at 44 degrees inclusive. And this is, you know, for such a small knife, it's a pretty thick um, stock of S35 VN and uh, but I had it you know I had it cutting through paper pretty well but um, you know sometimes it would catch every once in a while on paper so I decided you know to strop this out you know and you start with the course um, and I would pass it about 30 times on, on each side and then you wipe it down with a napkin or paper towel so that you don't uh, cross contaminate um, the steel um, and, and then you kind of run through the fine and I go through 20 to 30 times on each side here and you know it works perfectly I, I just go from the tip here and then you just drop down to the to the heel of the blade you know and you can either go more like this or you can you know just alternate you know one on each side or whatever and it's just so easy and it's so it's I don't know it, it's it is just um, I don't know. <laughs> it, it it kind of just soothes you, you know, as you're just sitting there in front of the TV, and it's just something to do. And um, you know, this sounds stupid, but even it, it's you know, you're moving, your your arms are moving, and you know, your your body's engaged in a sense, and and you're not just sitting there like a potato. Um, so it is something to just do with your hands, and um, so as a slight form of exercise. <laughs> Um, yeah, that kind of sounds stupid, but I think it's real. Anyway, um, so you kind of just run through here, and you know, after doing that, it just it just slices through paper um, so easily. It's a great way of just maintaining your edge. Um, if you know, again, if you know anything about sharpening, um, you don't have to go through a um, you know a full-on sharpening every single time you want to sharpen it. You just you can maintain your edges once you have your your bevel set and all that kind of stuff. Um, in terms of blade sizes, you know this might seem like a small strop, but I, I stropped out this um, my frayed mare as well because it wasn't you know I sharpened this as well on my on my wicked edge, and it wasn't you know the sharpest, and and I ran this through the strops as well, and now this one as well is just man it's just I could slow cut. Um, so easily, it's just so sharp um, right now. So uh, that's to, you know a testament to this this dropping and the, the compound and just the quality of this drop. You know it really is awesome for twenty bucks. That's just dirt cheap. You know and um, yeah, you can make your own strop with a belt or whatever. But um, twenty bucks and supporting some guy um, here in the U.S. and 
you know, just with his workmanship and all that kind of stuff, I think it's, it's definitely worth it. Um, he even sends out this little, you know, sheet of paper um, talking about his straps, talking about his company, talking about what he does. You know, you might seem like it's it's cheap, and you know, he's uh, he writes out your name here. My name's Patrick, or whatever. Um, you know, and it's something that's just printed out that he can just you know throw into it. But you know, he writes your name out here. He hand writes all this stuff, and it's I don't know, it's cool. It's 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 personal, and the guy is really really cool. So, um, yeah, you should definitely check out his, um, his site, stropman.com, and uh, just look at some of the, the products that he's got available. Um, he's in the, again, right now he's in the process of a move, so um, he won't be able to get to you right away, but he'll, he's so personable, and he'll take care of you. So, anyway, this is an awesome, awesome product. You know, one of the, this plus my Wicked Edge is probably two of the best um, products that I've ever purchased in terms of maintaining uh, my knives. So if you've got a knife fetish or an addiction, um, this is something you have to get to maintain your edge. So anyway, that's my little thoughts on this uh, strap man. This is the HD Compact Leather Strap. Uh, check it out. Check out some of the other products that he's got. Um, and yeah, support this this guy. Alright guys, I'll see you guys on the next vid. Thanks for watching. Bye.